feel like there's still someone who actually still wears a mask lah. Hey guys, today we are being forced against our will to do some tarot reading. Actually, I'm not forced. I really want to be here. I always wanted to have a tarot card reading. So now you you kind of believe in tarot reading? I don't I don't like believe in it. I believe in it when I I like the tarot card reading. You know, when I scroll TikTok and I see all these tarot card readings, then I'm like, oh, that was good. Many thanks. So what happens if <laughs> later she says that you're gonna be single your whole life? Yeah, I I won't believe that. I'm not I'm not gonna make, let that happen. Nope, nope. <laughs> I don't want to be single my whole life. What if she says, okay, the love of your life is actually right next to you all along? Huh? Where? Anyway, let's welcome Nara from my grandmama's secret. Woo! Hello. Hello! I'm Nara. So I'm from my grandmama's secret. So basically what I do is that I actually do a lot of divination readings for people just to understand what's going on with them. I also term myself modern witch whereby I actually craft little mojo bags, little charm bags for people oh. just to help them to like feel better about different situations. Oh, I need that. I need yeah. That. But I told you first, Shauna, I don't think we are, we are not compatible. <laughs> what, you checked on, you checked on lovecalculator.com? No, I checked in my, my head and my heart. So what would you have to say to like someone like me who doesn't necessarily believe in, in, in this. I think usually when I meet people like that yeah. and they're curious, they come in for a reading, I will just tell them that it's just guidance. Okay. Just to maybe understand where you are at. Should we start with you first? Sure. So what's your date of birth? 23rd December, 1993. Oh okay. my god, so young. <laughs> <laughs> Thank so you. So what Thank we are you. doing now is that we're just trying to find your life path number. So this is just a very small aspect of numerology whereby when you calc when you add all of this, it, you have to form a single digit. So all of us have a digit from 1 to 9 and each digit just have a different characteristic and different life journey. This is like 12 and then it forms a 3, right? Whenever it's a double digit and then you have to do an additional step, I call this a lack of energy. Okay. Lack of energy doesn't mean you don't have enough energy. It just means that you're basically someone who has to work a lot more harder for what you want. I think that's quite true. So it's... And looking at it right, the lack doesn't come from a bad okay. perspective. It means that knowing that you have to work a lot more harder, you naturally become a lot more of a perfectionist. I hope our bosses are watching this because it shows I need to work twice as hard as everyone. <laughs> and it's not your fault. And it's not my fault. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how nuts one turns out first. Yes, okay, now I'm excited right. for you. Okay. Yes, 16 April, <coughs> 93 as well. You are a very heart-centered person. Everything revolves around the heart chakra space. So if you want to see compatibility, Oof. this is quite fun because all we need to do is just have to add a 6 and a 3. That makes the both of y'all usually a number 9. Compatibility-wise, mentally you guys click. There you go. But, Number nine would mean that anytime both of y'all go through different changes or, or perspective shifts, uh, both of y'all might just feel like it might be two very different views. Yes, very, very yeah. different. So we're going to start off just understanding you guys have individual first. Mm. So we're going to use a life and soul purpose cards. Okay. So this would actually just help you to know who you are. So very simple, all you need to do is just hold on to the deck, mm -hmm. let it absorb some of your energy and then you can pass it back to me. Okay. No need to Ooh. shuffle or get crazy or anything like that. No need to pick a card. <laughs> and no need. Okay. okay. <laughs> this is a very, very interesting card. You know, I brought this very cool feminine cat deck, so let's just use it. Okay. Okay, same thing. You just got to hold it. Yeah. Let it just absorb some of your energy. So we'll work with those two first. Okay. Okay. What I really like is that don't keep pushing on things that may not be as beneficial to you. To understand what is beneficial to you, it don't come from the mind, come from the heart space. So this card describes a lot to do with the throat chakra. Throat chakra isn't just about how we talk. Throat chakra is also how we talk to ourselves mm -hmm. and how we choose to come off versus how we are coming off. So it's also coming back down to how you feel about it. And then when we move on to this card, right, which I thought was really very beautiful because her hair is so red, you know, she's kind of living in a lot of her root chakra power. When we keep questioning where, why are we here, we oh tend gosh. to lose sight of why, like how we are living our life. Mm -hmm. so, I feel like crying, I don't know why. Oh no, sometimes crying is a release of emotion. It's oh, okay yeah. to cry. Actually, I, oh no, I'm sorry. I made her cry, I'm sorry. Actually, I'm very shocked that she could pick that out though because it was something that I kept questioning last year, like what is my existence for? Why am I here on this earth? And also because like, a lot of things happened to me last year. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's okay for you to be who you exactly are, which is why I love this garden energy. I feel like sometimes what we hide away from is actually the purpose we are, we are supposed to be. 
Like many times we run away from a flaw, but that is the flaw that actually makes us who we exactly are, which is what this card is telling you about. Should we uh, draw yeah, his? Yeah, 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 take yeah, a moment, yes. take a moment. <laughs> Your turn. We'll use the same decks, okay? Channeling as much energy as I can into this. Okay, you channel into this now. Okay, so let me just start off with this card. So we talked a bit about chakras, right? This card represents yellow colour, which is your solar plexus chakra. Your message is most authentic when it's coming from your heart space. How much we connect our heart space, it's how much we are able to also feel connected to other people in their heart space. So this is now that we know each other. That's why I think that individually, you both have very different um, growth cycle. Like there's a high chance that communication would maybe break down, but you really have to realise where each of you come from. Actually, it's true because we always have different perspective on the situation. That's why we always end up quarrelling. And once we get to understand where each other is coming from, that's when we're like, okay. Last right, wait. time we would not even consider each other's feelings, you know. Now we like we actually hear each other out already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We actually talk things out. We we break everything down and like, oh, okay, maybe I didn't react properly, and maybe I could have reacted better in a yes. way. Yes. Okay, now we're going to the juicy part. <laughs> the reason why you guys clicked on this video to find out about our love life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. I really need to find out. So what I was going to do is that we'll just do a compatibility reading now. We'll draw three cards and then we'll see what's the influence and what is kind of like an outcome. Okay, you see, hold uh, it like this and then ah. like... Ah. Then when you look at the camera... <laughs> Your hand is come, so warm. <laughs> come nearer so they can, can make this and then a title on it. Let's go! Okay, this is really nice. One person is more influenced with obviously the, the whole throat chakra aspect. And then one person is more influenced from a mental perspective. Yeah. And then when you look at platonic love, right? Platonic love to me is not like a bad thing. Mm. It just means that it's kind of developed more from a friendship skill. This misunderstood love, right? As much as there is misunderstanding, you guys are still able to talk it out because you see a greater need for the relationship. Not just in love, but has a friendship. That is 100% accurate. And then what I feel more drawn to is this card. I feel like there's still someone who actually still wears a mask lah. So that one is your have to what, fight. What, what do you mean wears a mask? Means like, not to say 100% authentic. <laughs> what you, do you not want to say? Why are you turning your back on me? Have you not been 100% authentic? <laughs> what do you not want to say? It could apply to you also. What? what? You still like me now? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you jumped immediately <laughs> jumped to that come straight on, come away. Come on, come on, Sean. Now is the time. What about you? You could be the one I got the no, I'm now. not hiding anything at all. Oh. I, I, I've been clear since the start of this video. Oh, okay, okay. 100% clear. She said my I don't mind want, and my heart. She said I don't want to ask eh. Yeah, that's why it's you. It could be it's you too. You. What? It's you, it's not me. You, you could be hiding this. This is like Uno reverse reverse kind of <laughs> Hiding what? I feel like you need me as much as I need you in terms of this friendship. But you don't admit it. I mean friendship, I would say yes. Yeah, that's about it. No one's buying this. I literally taking this quite literal. Lah. I feel like his outlook is very like straightforward. Lah. Yeah. Like or don't like say you know, that kind. <laughs> like, you know, it's very easy to read. But then for you, it's making a decision come from many layers. Yeah. And then does. based on what you're going through and your feeling, your decision also changes. <laughs> which kind of puts you in, I see it, but I'm not very sure. So that means we're more built for friendship, right? Rather than... That's your takeaway from that. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that for you, individually, if you are looking for a partner, mm. it would be someone who really connects to you from a mind and understands you from a love language. Mm. But I would kind of look at it more so like someone who you can just feel like can, will take care of you. Lor. I want the, 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 the guy to be able to take care of himself. You don't want to date a baby, obviously. Yeah, so I think this is when you know what kind of individual when you yeah. meet, right? For you, it's very much someone who supports your dream. Very yes. simple, very simple. He's quite simple-minded, like. <laughs> Uh, life don't need to be complicated. Uh. So, question I always, always ask myself back then. What was the root cause of the split with my ex? What? So what is your, your perspective of tarot card reading now? I mean, I'm uh, a bit more open uh, to this. Some of the things you said make sense. A bit only. Uh, it makes sense. Uh, uh, okay, and, and I'm sure you agree. I agree. I, I agree with a lot of things that has been said, actually. Right? I'm sure we learn a lot about ourselves, right? Yeah, and about each other, our relationship. Right. I think it's more for friendship. We, That's my takeaway. We might be soulmates, right? Soulmates in friends. She said things can develop. We just need to be more honest with each other. You're only choosing to listen and accept <laughs> what you want to hear. You're not listening to the big picture. But I had fun today. Yeah, I had a lot of 
fun. Yeah, thank also you, interesting. Nah. I can't thank believe so I much. cried. No, but thank you for, for letting me do this. I really had a lot of fun, actually. Ayo, yeah. thank you so much. <laughs> I think now the whole office wants a reading. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, boy. If y'all like this video, please like, share and subscribe, okay? So you can see us more. And check more out... videos. And check out Nara too. Yes, check out Nara! <laughs> and... My grandmama's secret. That's right.